Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Jones and I am a sophomore here at Morgan State University. And during these last few weeks, I have been taking the time out to study the African diaspora in my communications class. While studying the African diaspora, I was able to get a better understanding of slavery and the things that have occurred during slavery. Cuba and Brazil, although they are both two different countries, they both played a major role in slavery. And during that time period of slavery, both countries were forced to cancel out their culture. So during this video, I am going to interview a student. So during this interview, I am hoping to not only gain knowledge about the club, but also the benefit that this club brings to this HBCU and how this club affects this HBCU, but also how it affects the African-American students that do attend Morgan State University. How you doing? I'm Mark M. Dub Morrison from Rochester, New York. I'm a junior at Morgan State University. I'm a construction management major. What organizations are you a part of? I'm a part of CSA, NSLS, Golden Key Iron Society, New York Story, Love Yours, and also CMAA. Okay, so today I'm gonna to interview you on CSA. Can you tell me what CSA is? CSA is the Caribbean um, Student Association. Uh, and basically what they're about is basically making a, a comfortable spot for students who are international or like from the islands. You know, it's giving them an opportunity to get in tune with people who are like more from their background and understand their cultures. And what made you decide to join this organization? Um, it really wasn't like a decision, like I had the had any options with. I, I'm a Caribbean, so I was like, yo, I have to join you. Okay, so do you feel as though slavery has affected you and your culture? Me and my culture? Of course. Of course, it was basically a setback for the whole culture, like our whole dynamic, all black people possible like it, it set us back 400 years 400 years of slavery we're still dealing with it systematically do you feel as though that you would still be a part of this club if you did not attend Morgan State like in a regular setting like if you were to attend a PWI would I still no at a PWI yes mm, I don't feel like it would be ran the same way in a PWI that it would be in HBCU because the culture is very different there's a disconnect I don't know. I feel like uh, it would be ran by a white person or something like that. It just have like, it's just completely different than it being on if you see the campus. I don't think I would. Okay, so what kind of struggles did your family who are not from America face while coming and being in America? Um, I think one of the main ones was kind of adapting to the social norms in America rather than where they were from. Because it's a lot different, like, um, First of all, the language, they don't speak English, so they had to learn the language while also maintaining their own culture, not losing that, not losing their culture while trying to get in tune with the one that they were, you know, living with, living in at the moment. Um, another thing was getting their citizenship. That was a long process because um, with the system at the time, dealing with uh, ICE and things of that nature, and with Trump being in office, it was a way like longer process to get your, your uh, citizenship in America. And I know the test is overly like <laughs> packed with questions that I know a regular American wouldn't even be able to answer themselves. So I know they make it a difficult process for people who are foreign or immigrants 